So year eight, I'm not going to be there, but this afternoon we're going to be having, a, <coughs> excuse me, moving on and having a look at multiplying and dividing terms. So we're in the textbook 5D. Of course, our learning intentions are for this section to understand the meaning of x squared and x cubed. That means x times x and x cubed or x to the power of three means x times x times x. And we want to be able to multiply terms and simplify the result, which means reduce them down to the lowest number of terms or to be able to cancel them down. And also we want to be able to divide algebraic terms and simplify them, again, reduce them down. We recall, of course, that 4AB is algebraic way of writing four times A times B. When in algebra, when we are multiplying a pronumeral or variable by another pronumeral or variable or by a coefficient, we don't use a multiplying sign. Therefore, four times A times B times three times C would be written as 12ABC. And division is written as 12AB over 9AD. And if we were going to reduce that down, we would look at three goes into both nine and both 12. Goes four times, A goes into itself once, becomes one. And then B and D don't go into each other. So we're left with four times B, which is four B over three D. Now, key ideas that we've got to remember and should be putting these into our summary book as we go. Sorry about that. In our summary book as we go, 12 ABC is 12 times A times B times C. When multiplying, of course, and division, the order and addition, of course, sorry, the order is not important. X squared means X times X and X cubed means X times X times X. And when dividing, we cancel down. We can have a look at some of these. You can see that this one here, which is the correct way to write three times A times B times B. So you've got three times A and you've got B times B. So it's three AB squared. Simplify these fractions down by looking for common factors. So a common factor would be four here would be three times and four here would be five times. So that's three fifths. Which of these is equivalent to A times B times A times B times B? So we've got A times A, which is A squared. Then we've got B times B times B, which is B cubed. So we have this one here, B. Express these without multiplying signs. Well, this would be three times X, three XY. This would be five ABC. This would be 12 AB squared. And this would be 4AC cubed, 4AC cubed. Now you can go through the examples here and how they explain them. We'll be doing that. So let's have a look at some of the questions. Move across to one note here. So we'll have a look at this. It can be here. And have a look at the portion of the first that we normally do. So this would be 5a times 3b c times 2b. And of course, 5 times 3 times 2, 5 3 is 15 times 2 is 30. So a times b times c times d, d, so there'd be a, b, c, d. We have 2a here, 2a times b times 3cd. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6a times itself, then you've got b, c, d. a, b, c, d. So they're fairly straightforward, you can see that. Let's have a look at 4BC over 14AC. 4BC over 14AD. So 2 will go into 4 twice. 2 will go into 
47. Put this in something else there. So we've got 2C over 7 AD. Let's have a look at another one. We'll have a look at 12X squared Y. So we have 12X squared Y over 8. X, Z. Again, 4 is our highest, so 4 goes into this twice, and 4 goes into this three times. Now, X will go into itself once, and it will go into this X times, because X times X equals X squared. So Y and Z don't. And so what I'm left with here is 3 times X over. 2 times Z. Which will be 3X. Over 2Z. Alright. Let's have a look at another one here. In question 3. 8AB. Times 3C. And. That would be simply 24 ABC. Of course, A times A will be A squared. 3 times 3 will be 3D squared. It's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at H4 ABC times 2 a, B, D. So we'll have 4 times 2 is 8. A, A times A is A squared. B times B is B squared. There's no C there, so C times itself and D. So what we've got is 8A squared, B squared, C, D. So they're multiplied by. Okay, let's have a look at question 4. And there would be 5a over 10a. Of course, a goes into itself. And then 5 goes into itself once. Goes into this twice. So therefore, we have 1 over 2. 7x over 14y. 14y. X and Y, of course, don't cancel out, but 7 goes into itself once, goes into this twice. So, therefore, we have X. We don't write 1X, we just write X over ZY. 2Y, sorry. Can't even understand my own writing. All right, let's have a look at J, which is this one here, 21P. 21P over negative 3Q. Now, negative 3 goes into 21 7 times, 7 times negative 3. So we still keep the negative. That goes into that 7 times. That's 7p, so we've got negative, that will equal negative 7p over q. So for today's lesson, you can keep working your way through the work outline. Make sure you bring yourself up to up to date. Make any notes you need to in your summary book and then continue on with your work. Thanks very much.